Customize the context toolbar. You go by selecting a plane or face. In this case, we'll select a plane in the feature manager. Right click and go customize all, while the bar's up. And this one's for the feature manager. So you go through the commands menu up here, and all you do is drag and drop the different commands you want to add to the toolbar. And just go to whichever feature or command menu you want to use, even flyouts. So once you're done customizing, hit OK. And then when you access the toolbar, they'll be in the bottom row. There's a second context toolbar in the graphics area. By selecting a face, it'll bring up the toolbar, go right click, customize. And in much the same process, you just go ahead and drag and drop the commands you want to add to this context toolbar. And you place the commands much the same, and they'll be appearing in the very bottom row of that toolbar. Once you finish customization, just go ahead and hit OK, and everything will be added. And then once again, you make a selection of face, and there they, your commands are easy to access the same way. The context toolbar is also available in assemblies. So you can go to an assembly, and then right-click Customize the toolbar in the assembly area, and you go through and add, for example, Insert Parts Assembly. Now you'll see you'll have other features there as well. When you use the context toolbar in the assembly, if those features aren't available, they will not appear on the bar. Finally, you can go to a drawing and once again create a context toolbar specifically for a drawing. So you right click on the toolbar once it's active and go customize like we've done before and just drag and drop, for example, section view and some other drawing commands you can add to the toolbar. Now you're in a drawing using the toolbar and only the commands that apply to a drawing will come up like the section view we added here. You can make the context toolbar specific both for parts, drawings, and assemblies.